Downsizing in retirement. Expenses they did not expect. So this is actually a pretty interesting article from the New York, New York Times. Now, I do subscribe to the New York Times uh, digital version, not because I like the New York Times. I, could, I don't. They're the, the uh, antithesis of truth, 100%. But the old stuff, the archives are freaking fantastic, dude. I love, if you like history and you don't trust the media, it's just fun to go in the old stuff and look. And now the problem with the digital stuff, of course, it can be changed a la 1984. But uh, it's fun, man. I enjoy it for like, you know, eight bucks a month or something like that. You get unlimited access to old and we're talking 1800s. It's fantastic. Anyway, so this, uh, every now and again, uh, an article from the New York Times will pique my interest. Not very often. I, I just, because I don't, I literally don't trust New York Times as far as I can kick them. If they said the sky is blue, I will think it's pink. Let's just put it that way. But this is pretty interesting. And this is, uh, uh, on the way to spending less. What? Spending less in retirement? Are you crazy, New York Times? People often have to shell out more, at least temporarily. Especially when selling your home. Here's these guys right here. Uh, Louis, uh, Luis, a kiss and her husband moved to a retirement community someplace. Uh, they weren't able to sell their home until they spent a few thousands of uh, dollars of renovating it. Okay. And so uh, they chose a two bedroom condo unit at a continuing care retirement community, which provided independent living. All right. And then you go to skill care. If you or then you go to assist living, then you go to skilled care, and they can't put you out. I'm a huge fan of uh, uh, continuing care retirement communities. Huge fan. Uh, let's see. Mr. Kiss sold a dry cleaning business years ago, and she was a retired nurse, if memory serves. Um, I already read the article. I just can't remember the whole thing. They discovered what many prospective downsizers do, though, that they had more expenses than they anticipated. Uh, why? Because they had to remove the popcorn ceilings and renovate the kitchen. Um, that's interesting to me um, because a lot of times in a hot market, you won't have to do all that. It'll be part of the price tag. So, uh, but yeah, yeah, I mean, never a bad idea to do that in advance. You know, make it turnkey, man. No one wants to buy a house and have to do all that on their own. So, but 20000 bucks to renovate the kitchen, that doesn't seem very expensive to me, actually. But be it as it may. We were not happy to have to go through that, said the missus. If I were advising someone who's downsizing, I'd say make sure you have all your ducks in a row and prepare for any contingencies. Yep. Dale and Marion Boyd were in for a surprise when they put their four-bedroom ranch house up in Noonan, Georgia, which is southwest of me. Uh, they, they were asking top dollar and figured they'd have time to look for a new place before their house sold. It sold in one day. Two weeks later, they placed much of their furniture in storage at 2000 bucks a month. In the meantime, they signed a contract for the house that had not been yet built, and so they moved into a July. So they basically had to keep their uh, stuff in storage for about $25,000 total. We got caught with our pa pants down, said Mr. Boyd. That's a sight I'd rather not think about. Uh, we hadn't decided where we want to live yet. We should have done that. One way to avoid such surprises is to thoroughly check the housing market before putting the for sale sign. Older homeowners should consult with several agents to get a realistic picture of what their house might sell for and what smaller houses cost. This is particularly important right now uh, because rising mortgage rates uh, is making it more difficult for younger home seekers with families to afford the down payment and monthly payments for a large, pricey home. That's what I'm living in. That is a concern of mine, for sure. A large, pricey home. Will younger people be able to buy when we sell? I don't know. I don't know. It's going to be a challenge. We shall see. Uh, many homeowners delayed downsizing during the pandemic, and homes were now lingering on the market. Really? I don't know about that. Uh, sales prices have dropped. At the same time, older buyers are competing with younger buyers for less expensive, smaller homes. So older buyers are going to downsize and younger buyers are going into their starter homes simultaneously. Very interesting. There's not a lot of small ramblers and single level townhouses to go to, said this lady. Interesting. In addition to determining sales prices, homeowners could figure out possible savings by comparing their expenses to expected at a new place to the current place. Often overlooked are closing costs. Yeah, one percent, man. I, you know, I, I, I never refinanced my mortgage, and it's, it's like that's going to cost twenty to twenty-five thousand bucks. I'm not doing that. I mean, that's three, four. Oh, that's that. 
That's uh six. That's like eight. That's eight mortgage payments. I, I wasn't going to pay eight mortgage payments to refinance. I'm just not going to do it, man. And that's, I'm like, damn, refinancing. Or everyone gripes about reverse mortgages being expensive. Have you ever seen a refi? It's expensive too, dog. Dog. Uh, doc. Dude. That's what I meant to say. It's expensive too, dude. And with the point being is this, none of this stuff comes for free. All this, you know, you can't just sell your house and there's no close. Of course there's closing costs. Can you put it on the purchaser? Maybe. Is a purchaser in a, in a competitive market going to want to eat those by himself? Probably not. So you got to figure this out. The way to sell your house, always ask, you know, a, 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 always ask a good price. Uh, instead of uh, pricing it too high, just ask a good price, man. You'll close your house for sure. Um, anyway, sometimes it might not be a bad idea just to stay put. But I need to get the equity out of my house. How do I do that? Da, 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 da. Reverse mortgage. I can see my man Al right now. He's been playing hide and seek with a YouTube channel. He was a very active guy on the YouTube channel. Really got upset with me for talking about reverse mortgages. Uh, I said some snarky comments on the YouTube channel about that. And I don't ban people necessarily, uh, especially guys actively participating in the channel. Uh, but then he emailed me the other day and I said, man, you need a reverse mortgage. If he took that funny or not, but I thought it was pretty funny because he's actively against reverse mortgages. All right, so you sell your house, you downsize. I mean, at the end of the day, man, there ain't nothing for free in this world. That's for sure. So we'll see. What will Josh and Charlotte do five, six years from now when we get this nice house you hopefully paid for? I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, let's see. Mike Robinson, who's in Peachtree City, said home buyers who plan to move into condos or independent homes and plan 55 plus retirement communities. Also need a budget for monthly fees. Uh, home association fees can generally be from 100 bucks to $1,000 a month. And buyers should be, for, be sure to ask what the fees cover. In some communities, they don't even cover lawn care or parking. You got to pay for parking on top of that. Um, all right, if you're turning 65 in your area, you can, you can save a considerable amount of property taxes. Uh, his county's income-based partial exemption for seniors, 100%. I uh, got to talk about capital gains right here. All right. The long term capital gains is generally zero or 15 or 20 percent, depending on your income and obviously depending on the appreciation of your home. Uh, make sure you keep I think they talk about it here. Make sure you keep any uh, uh, any any like we're putting we put a pool in, put a new yard. We're putting in a uh, um, a sunroof, sun deck thing in there. You got to keep all this stuff because that is a that will add to your capital your uh, cost basis. Yeah, right here. Gather records of major improvements over the years, such as remodeling or new roof. Yep. Uh, Miss Kiss, the lady from Washington, said her and her husband had paid capital gain tax on the sale of their home. On top of that money, on top of that, the money they earned from the sale beyond uh, five hundred thousand drove up where they had to pay Medicare Irma. They got subject to Irma because they had more income than uh, what social than what CMS allows for basic Medicare premiums. So they had for that one year they had to pay Irma. Yeah. Uh, because their premiums are deducted from Social Security, they receive smaller monthly benefits. Uh, many downsizers expect to improve their retirement income if their new home costs less than what their old house sold for. Yep. Lower utility bills, insurance, and property taxes can improve the bottom line. Yep. What I'm saying. There's a calculator from the Center for Retirement Research at Boston College. I, I didn't like that calculator. I thought it was a little bit too. I wasn't a big fan. You can use the same calculator if you think about renting instead of buying. Well, that might not be a bad idea, renting. Anyway, lots of, uh, right here, no, right here. Despite their unexpected cost, the kisses, those people up in Washington we first showed you, they improved their cash flow after they sold their home. With the proceeds of the house sale, they were able to repay their loan because they had to take a bridge loan while they were remodeling. Uh, do, 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 do. okay. Yeah, uh, they invested the balance, which is about two hundred fifty thousand bucks. They walked away with net of their home, uh, from selling the home and going into the CCRC continuing care retirement community. They put about two hundred fifty thousand in U.S. Treasury bonds, and they're probably going, "Oh my goodness, the world is collapsing," because the bond market is getting tanked right now. Uh, they cover the monthly fee and other expenses with interest on those bonds. Yep, that's uh. Yeah, right here. Miss Kiss income as a travel agent and a pension she receives as a retired nurse. Have yeah, good stuff, man. Um, I, I 100. You got to. I would factor in a 10, you know, in closing costs, everything. So if you're going to sell your house for fifty thousand, five hundred thousand bucks, 
I factored fifty thousand dollars gone just like that. So you you walk away four fifty essentially. That's what I would use. Well, love your thoughts. We'll see ya. Thanks.